Hi everyone and welcome to another video by BioTeach, this time focusing a bit more on understanding the various qualifications the Applied Science BTECs offer. I've had so many comments and questions on my current YouTube videos as well as on Instagram asking similar things so it was easier for me to create this video in case anyone else hasn't asked but wants to know. So I've mentioned in my previous videos that the exam board for BTEC is Pearson. They offer six different qualifications on the BTEC programme and these are what I want to talk you through today. They're on screen now and I should explain that they go from shorter or smaller qualifications to ones that are longer and more likely to get you into university. So let's talk about them one by one. The first one that they offer is the National Certificate in Applied Science. This one is equivalent to half an A-level, and if you study this qualification, you will have two mandatory units, one of which is externally assessed. By externally assessed, we mean that Pearson write an exam paper and provide it to your school or college for you to sit at a certain time. Pearson are also responsible for marking that exam. This qualification is a good one to do if you're doing it with another qualification. This by itself may not get you into university unless you already have enough UCAS points from doing A-levels or other vocational studies. The next one is the extended certificate, which is equivalent to studying one A-level. This has four units, three of which are mandatory and two of which are externally assessed. This qualification is one that students take when they also have other courses they're studying. For example, I had one person contact me saying they were doing this particular qualification alongside two A-levels, and someone else said that they were doing this one with a BTEC in Health and Social Care. So it makes sense as to how you might combine them with something else, because it is only worth one A-level. The next one is a foundation diploma. This is equivalent to one and a half A-levels and you would study six units of which four are mandatory and two are externally assessed. This is usually the qualification most places will offer you after your GCSEs and it allows you to progress onto the extended diploma in the second year. The foundation diploma takes one year and some people may only do the foundation to get enough UCAS points to apply to uni, especially if they already have some previous A-levels. But most people will go from the foundation diploma to the extended diploma, which I'll talk about in a second. The next one, as you see on screen now, is the national diploma. This is equivalent to two A-levels and you would study eight units, six of which are mandatory and three are exam-based units. This is usually taken as part of a program of study that includes other BTECs or A-levels. So for example, one A-level and a national diploma will allow you to progress onto higher education. And lastly, we have the extended diploma. This is a two year program where you have 13 units, seven of which are mandatory and four are exam based. This allows students to apply to uni through UCAS and is equivalent to three A-levels. I should add at this stage, if you've already done the foundation diploma, you're halfway through the extended diploma program. So in your second year, you will complete the total of 13 units. It's not like you have to do 13 units in addition to what you've done in the foundation. I hope that makes sense. There are many different pathways and which pathway you take depends on the school or college where you study. The school or college will pick optional units they think suit their students and offer those. The pathways include pathways such as biomedical science, analytical and forensic science and physical science. I also thought it might be useful to address some of the questions I received from you all. One that a couple of you asked was whether you can revise from the specification. The answer is no. The specification is just an overview of the units. It shows what you need to learn in terms of the topic, but it doesn't give you all the detail. So a specification might say that you need to learn about the structure of an atom, but it doesn't give you the theory around it. In terms of your learning, your teachers will give you the materials you need and you will carry out your own research to complete assignments. Plus, you'll have access to all of my videos as well. So those are your learning materials. Another popular question I get asked is, can I get into dentistry? I mentioned in another video that most universities prefer the A-level qualification for entry into dentistry, but there are a couple of places that accept VTEC. Off the top of my head, Cardiff University has a dental surgery with a preliminary year and Bristol University also does a foundation course. When carrying out research on university entry requirements, 
please ensure that you check the GCSE entry requirements too, especially for maths and English, and always call the university admissions team and ask them if they will consider the BTEC qualification on its own without any A-levels. Many of you asked me which other courses you can do at university with the applied science qualification. There are so many. Over 90% of universities in the UK accept BTEC qualifications. And from my experience, a similar number of BTEC students apply through UCAS for university. I can obviously only talk about the courses my students have gone on to do. So some of them have gone on to do pharmacy, nutrition, geology, biomedicine, forensic science, environmental science, life sciences, medical physics, astronomy, optometry, one went on to do chiropractic treatment, physiotherapy, criminology is a popular one, and a couple of them will go on to do subjects such as law as well as accounting and finance. Despite the applied science being a science-based course, there are still some other courses at university that you can do that aren't science-based. If you have an idea of what kind of career path you want to follow, it might be an idea to find out which degree you need and then work backwards to make a decision on which course you would take. Remember, some jobs don't need a degree, but often if you want to climb up the career ladder and progress, then you do need a higher level qualification. Another question that I've had recently was someone saying, well, the specification has over 20 units. Am I studying all of them? The answer is no. The maximum number of units you will study on the applied science is 13 units over two years, and that's on the extended diploma. The reason BTEC have over 20 units on the specification is so that they can provide different pathways for students. Your school or college will make a decision as to which units make up the course and deliver those to you. So you don't actually get to choose the individual units yourself. The course is effectively built by your school or college to allow you the highest chance of progression. So that's all I have for you, everyone. I hope that video has helped you understand the BTEC qualification even more and answered some of your burning questions that you've been sending me. Thank you so much for all of your messages and questions as it really pushes me to ensure I create content which is useful for you all. Thank you so much for the support you give me also. I really appreciate all the kind messages that you take the time to send through to me. Of course, keep your questions coming. You can comment underneath any of my videos or you can contact me on Instagram and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Take care and bye for now.